Hey guys, this is the second part of the tutorial. In this tutorial, we will prepare some files that we need for Breath of the Wild and rename some stuff. These are the files you will need. You will need a model and you will need some textures for this model. Now if you don't have a model, don't worry, I will include one in the description for you. Some other files you will need are Breath of the Wild game files. Now I'm not going to tell you how to extract these files and I'm not going to give you a download so you'll just have to figure that out for yourself. But this includes the game files, the update data and the DLC data. Okay, let's start. So first we need a model from the game as reference. Go to Breath of the Wild update data, go to content, go to model, and here are most of the 3D model files and textures from the game. Now since the item we're going to be adding is a sword, it makes most sense just to grab a sword from this folder. So scroll all the way down until you see weapon sword with a number behind it. Now I'm going to grab weapon sword 001 because it's closest to the one I'm going to add. Grab the texture file as well. We will copy these two over to a separate folder. I'm going to make an empty folder called tutorial. And I'm going to paste them in here. We will need one more texture file which is hidden in another folder. Go back to your game files and then go into the game files for Breath of the Wild. Not the update data, just this one. Go to content, go to model, scroll all the way down so you see sword 001 and copy texture 1. Bring this over to your folder as well. Now we have the 3D model and the textures for what happens to be the traveler's sword. First off we have to rename these files because we don't want it to override the traveler's sword from the game. We can just rename this number here to a different one, as long as it isn't used by the game or by another mod. I am going to go with number 111. Just rename all of these files. With all these files renamed, it is important to remember this number. We're going to need it a lot later. Now we need to open it in Switch Toolbox and rename some stuff. Open up Switch Toolbox, hit run, wait for it to load. Once it's loaded, expand the window, go to File, Open, and navigate to your folder. Open up this file, the first one and expand the window by pressing the square. Here you will see the 3D model we will be replacing. You can hold left click in this window and drag to pan around. Hold right click and rotate it. Now for now we will just be renaming this. So go over to the right and you'll see that the sword is still called 001 which we don't want. We want to rename it to 111. We aren't done yet. We need to rename a bunch more stuff. Go over to the left and click the little plus symbol. This will expand the menu. Expand models as well and click on weapon sword 001. We also need to rename this one. Now go back to the left and expand the one we just selected. Expand objects and click on this one and rename it as well. Now go to the left again, go to materials and click on this material. Go over to the right and rename it to 111. It's important you have all the names right, if not the game will struggle to find some of the items. So make sure you don't forget any of these. That's all we need to do in Switch Toolbox for now. Go ahead over to the left and save it. Hit yes if it asks you to compress. Hit ok. You can now close the program. Now all we need to do is change the texture names. Go back to where you have your textures and rename these as follows. You want to give it the same name as the weapon underscore sword underscore 111 underscore albedo ALB. For the second material you want to do the same thing but add an extra zero after 111 with an underscore. 
just like that. Now do the same thing for all the other textures. And there you go. If you have a third material, just change the 0 to a 1 or 2 or a 3 and so on. This concludes the second part of the tutorial. We now have a bunch of stuff renamed and prepared it for the next part of the tutorial. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, this really helps out the channel.